Well, you referred to uh, miscalculation, perhaps, on the part of the West vis-a-vis Russia. And we know that for Russia, Ukraine is very important. It's, as uh, President Putin likes to say, it's it's uh, a part of larger Russia. I mean, he doesn't see it as a, as a sovereign nation, and therefore he probably justifies his moves, even though he denies that Russia is there with troops and so forth, that is, in Ukraine. He justifies it uh, from that historical perspective. In that light, do you think perhaps the EU miscalculated back when they offered this association agreement to Ukraine, uh, which, of course, President Yanukovych rejected um, in defiance of the majority of Ukrainians who, who wanted that, do you think they underestimated uh, the impact this would have and perhaps didn't provide enough uh, of an incentive and didn't foresee Russia's reaction? I'm not sure anyone foresaw Russia's reaction. Certainly the U.S. has been very supportive of EU engagement with Ukraine and was supportive of the EU negotiating an association agreement with Ukraine. And there have been several surprises along the way. I mean, one surprise was former Ukrainian President Yanukovych deciding not to sign the agreement and saying, I've got a better deal on offer from Russia and I'm going to take that. The second surprise came when in the wake of that decision, hundreds of thousands of Ukrainians demonstrated on the streets saying, we actually want Europe. The third surprise came when, early in this year, the three EU foreign ministers were negotiating what we thought was going to be a deal with then-President Yanukovych, only to have him then flee to Russia. And then the fourth surprise was the Russian illegal annexation of Crimea, and it continues from there. But I think we, Americans, as well as our European partners, had been making the argument that a Ukraine that has a deeper relationship to the EU is in Russia's interest. Because if Russia has an economically stronger neighbor, then that's an export market for Russian goods. It's a better provider of manufactured goods to Russia. And clearly that argument was in no way compelling to Vladimir Putin. And he saw this very much as a zero sum game. That a Ukraine moving closer to the EU is necessarily Ukraine moving away from Russia. And that was not acceptable to him. Indeed, he sees it as a zero-sum game, and he doesn't uh, understand the so-called win-win concept, evidently. But that said, it seems now we're seeing some protests in Russia itself. Finally, some uh, citizens are protesting Russia's actions in Ukraine. Do you think that uh, these will begin to mushroom, notwithstanding Putin's considerable public support. Um, Are we seeing some uh, signs that this policy of aggression in Ukraine is going to backfire as the body bags of Russian soldiers come back and more and more people are questioning the wisdom of Russia taking these provocative moves in eastern Ukraine? I I definitely want to come to that question in a minute, but I also want to respond to your comment about a zero-sum game versus a win-win, because the irony here is If Vladimir Putin is most concerned about a Ukraine coming closer to the EU, and even more than that, a Ukraine that would join NATO, the result of his policies is almost the reverse. When you look at the EU's Vilnius summit last November, where Ukraine might have signed an association agreement and chose not to, there was not a lot of enthusiasm in the European Union for a deeper relationship with Ukraine. But what's happened over the past months has accelerated Ukraine's relationship with the EU. And if you think about NATO, Vladimir Putin has given NATO a huge shot in the arm if you look at the reassurance measures that have been put in place for existing NATO members, the Baltics, Poland, and Romania. So there's a real irony of what the upshot of Putin's policy has been. In terms of the Russian public, This is the big question, and this is why I said earlier, it's not the Cold War, because Russia has changed too in these 25 years. It's a much more open country. Russians travel. They like buying Western products. 
So will we see a backlash against Putin's policy over time? Now, we have to remember that Putin has extraordinary control over the Russian media, so the narrative that's being heard in Russia is not an objective one. But I think this is the question a lot of folks are asking themselves, which the rally around the flag we've seen in Russia to date, will that continue? Or will Russians at some point say, the costs of this policy are not something that we're willing to pay.